The FD Unites men's and women's track and field teams are ready to start the indoor track season. Head coach Charlene Millwood Lee is excited to get things started. The upcoming indoor season we're actually looking forward to because we've been training since the beginning of October. Um, last year we started a little later uh, due to some circumstances, so we're looking forward to a lot more training that we're getting in. Several weeks, we're several weeks ahead of where we were last year. That's a plus, a big plus. In addition, I feel like our team is more confident this year. We have additions to the team. We're still looking for a little key pieces that we're missing here and there, but we have some great additions to the team, which I think will definitely uh, go in our favor come our conference championship uh, in February. The Knights have been hard at work in practice since the beginning of October. And the focus right now is to make sure everyone is at full strength. Well, this season, our focus, you know, we have certain cycles that we focus on during our training period. This cycle right now is more of strength-based training. Uh, a lot of our girls who are coming from, or ladies who are coming from cross-country training, have a stronger base than, say, our girls who have just started, or ladies who started in October. And that's where it gets tricky, because you have to know who is capable of doing what. And I think we've done a very good job of figuring out where to place people in workouts and what they need and where their weaknesses are. And once we start now to do specialty workouts, we're going to have to figure out ways to break down everyone and give everyone their specific needs for their specific specialties, whether they're a jumper, thrower, or hurdler. Off the track, we're, we can be a little goofy at times. Um, we interact well with our athletes. But when it comes to practice, they know you have to come here ready to run. And we have our days where we may be yelling, you know, words of encouragement or yelling, pick it up. Um, the kids respond, and different kids, part of coaching is knowing who responds to what, and that's where it gets tricky, but I think we've done well, and I think we have great co a great coaching staff, and we're, you know, when we become a full coaching staff, I think we're going to move forward even quicker. Recently, the Knights held a mock meet at the Rothman Center to get ready for real competition. Well, looking at the mock meet, it was more um, for the team than anything. It does help the coaches. It gives us a little clue as to where the team is. It also helps us figure out where, where our deficiencies are and what we need to tweak. I think that it's a great boost for the kids who have not ran cross country because after a month and a half of training they start to get that little itch where they're you know starting to get a little bored and want to compete. And I think this was a way of getting them to in a competitive setting to, to be able to do what they do best and to see where they are. And it's encouraging to them, and it also helps them, for kids who did well, it helps them say, okay, I'm coming into our break, our Thanksgiving break, our winter break. I know I have to keep up where I'm at. And if they didn't do well, well, I know that through the break, I'm going to have to train and really work hard to get where I need to be. So I think it, it, they're all positives where the meet's concerned. I didn't know what a milk meet is first, so I asked people what it is, and I thought more it's like a fun meet, so like the throwers do the styles and then we do throws. But at the end, we all did pretty much our events. It wasn't that we were racing completely all out, but we just, it gave us a little impression where we are right now. I know, for example, last year I started FD, at the FTU meet with a 251 or 253 in the thousand. Like this Friday, I ran a 245, and that was easy pretty much. So it gives you a little impression where you are right now, and that's pretty good. For us. I think a lot of people woke up after the mock meet, know what they need to work on. Like if they really want to succeed when the season comes, they need to start working towards it now. The Knights are led by a strong group of upperclassmen leadership and a few key additions that the coach has high expectations of. Zachariah Ahmed, he's one of our, our team leaders. Uh, he's also going to be a great asset in the throws area. Um, he's training hard. I think he's strong. He's a lot better conditioned this year. Uh, I think he's going to definitely be a force to be reckoned with in the conference. We also have Dwanya Freeland who's working hard. Uh, she's also an upperclassman. She's a junior and she's going to be a definite asset also to the team. She's a thrower as well. On the sprint side, well we have several ladies who have definitely started to step up in the long sprints. We have Christine Taylor who's our 4-8 specialist. Um, she's focusing on several events for the conference, and we're going to make a decision come conference where we're going to place her, where she could be an asset, score the most points. We also have Alta Gracia Vasquez, who is also uh, our little tiny lightning bolt who's starting to really make strides. 
uh, in her event and we're hoping to see a lot from her. In our new additions area, we have Andrew Forbes. We're seeing what we can do with him as he is a javelin thrower. Um, so it's going to be interesting where we place him. Uh, Philip Goop can contribute to the team this year. Uh, this is actually his first full year, his first cross-country season for us. So he's in great shape, and we're looking for him to translate what he's done in cross-country to indoor track. Ashley Battle is definitely going to be someone who's going to be is a great addition to the team. She sat out last year. She was a transfer. Uh, this year she's working hard. She's, um, she's a hurdler who's actually capable of running anything from the four down, so we look forward to seeing what she's capable of doing as well. The Knights men's and women's track and field teams open up the season in the Bronx at the Fordham Invitational on December 2nd. And then they'll be competing in Hackensack at the Rothman Center on December 4th for the annual Knight Classic. For more information on the men's and women's track and field teams, go to afternewnights.com.